67-year-old man shot to death in his own home in Columbia. And police don't think it was a random killing. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson joins us now with the full report tonight. So, Jack, what are folks saying about this? I'm sure this was a surprise. Yeah, Kelly, first of all, they're upset that this happened to their neighbor and his family, understandably shaken up as well in a town and a county where this kind of thing just doesn't usually happen. A sleepy neighborhood in Howard County. It's in Columbia near I-95 and the middle Patuxent River. On Thursday night, one of the homes in this quiet development was the unexpected site of what police are calling an apparent homicide. Seeing it here, it's a little shocking because this is not a neighborhood that's been ever been known for, for violence, especially gun violence. Steve D'Alessio was out for a walk like many other neighbors on the mild Friday evening after it happened. Folks tell me both on and off camera that police arrived in this development late last night and were also here in the morning. Police themselves tell us 67 year old Perry Anthony Como was shot multiple times and died in a home here on the 9500 block of Half Dollar Court. A family member called police for Como who I'm told lived in the home. Police don't believe there's any danger to the public at large uh, because again through preliminary investigation um, they do not believe that this was random. Howard County Police got the call around 1045 Thursday night. Police spokesperson Lori Boone tells me this would be the fifth homicide in the county in 2024. There were five in all of 2023 and according to public data four in 2022. The murders to our knowledge are unconnected. As folks in this area will say to even hear about this happening here is a shock. This is pretty shocking for this neighborhood and um, and it does make me feel a little uncomfortable. Well, at this hour, police do not have a suspect in custody. They did not share a description of a suspect with me. If they do make an arrest in this case, you'll be the first to know on WMAR2news.com.